Hey Ding Dongs, uh, Matt Elfring here. I just got done watching WrestleMania and I've got tons of opinions from this wonderful hotel room in Anaheim, California as I just got done wrapping up WonderCon. But before we get into that, why don't you go down there, click like and subscribe if you love movies, video games, entertainment, anything that GameSpot Universe provides for you. So let's get right into it. The card itself, that first half of the card was, was awesome. We opened up uh, the pre-show. The pre-show is usually a little, uh, but we had Austin Aries and Neville, which was one of the highlights of the night for me. It was uh, filled with some great spots, great storytelling between Austin Aries and Neville. Uh, one thing I really, really loved was Austin Aries giving a Frankensteiner to Neville from the top rope. That was probably one of the big highlight spots of the night for me. Also, AJ Styles and Shane McMahon was a huge surprise. I didn't, I hated that, <laughs> that booking that. I thought it was just like, why? Are these two guys fighting? This is, it doesn't make sense to me. But the match ended up being so good, uh, just full of life. Again, great storytelling. We got to see, you know, the the coast to coast from Shane McMahon again, which is harkens back to the Attitude Era. I, I hate them about to say this. I actually liked Brock Lesnar Goldberg. Uh, the first two were terrible, um, and this only lasted like four minutes, I believe. But it was nice to see uh, Goldberg get his come up and. <laughs> Uh, it was just, it was, it was kind of nice send off for Goldberg. I hope he doesn't come back. Sorry, Goldberg fans. Jericho, Kevin Owens was a, everything I hoped it would be. Uh, Jericho came out, like his entrance, he had a giant list of Jericho, like right next to him. So immediately I'm already like A plus match. Kevin Owens is so awesome in the ring. It's, it's really great to hear him do all the smack talk to the other wrestlers. One of the things that I really liked about the Kevin Owens and Chris Jericho match is when Kevin Owens used the Walls of Jericho on Jericho. That's always like kind of a really cool element in storytelling within a match when the villain will use the own hero's move against them. It just makes the whole match feel more full and dynamic. I love The Undertaker. He's been a part of WrestleMania, part of WWE for so long, but, but his match against Roman Reigns was, was bad. It was not good. And I don't blame it on Roman Reigns. I'm not one of those people online that's like, Roman Reigns, you're the worst. It's a lot on Undertaker too. He feels out of shape. He felt winded a lot. And Roman Reigns isn't good enough. He's not at that level yet where he can carry a match if someone's you know, not pulling their weight. So the whole match was, it dragged, it felt boring. And by the time it was over, I was really happy. I didn't even care that Undertaker lost. I was just like, well, that's done. And that's the worst way to end a WrestleMania where you have you know 20 minutes of just sitting there going, is this over yet? So for me, that was just the that was the worst, and I felt bad because you know we're we're sending off Undertaker. He puts his he puts his coat and his hat in the ring. He walks off, and I'm like a little teary eyed because I'm a giant baby inside. But at the same time, I'm just glad that I wanted to see Undertaker and WrestleMania again. And I feel like a jerk for thinking that, but that's kind of where I'm at with that. My biggest takeaways are that the Hardy Boys are something that Raw's tag team division desperately needs. And as soon as New Day came out, it was like, it's gonna be a four-way match. And here come the Hardy Boys. I I lost it. No one was here in the room with me, I believe at that time. I don't remember. I was super excited. Uh, my heart was racing for a good 20 minutes even after that match. WWE should be giving more chances to people that work all year round and do great stuff. I'm not saying that Brizongo deserves to be on the main card of WrestleMania. I think they do. They don't. But we, you know, there's tons of talent there that could have fit well into this. Or frankly, we can just cut back on matches. It's, it was 13 matches. It was six and a half hours long, seven hours long. It felt very, very long. If we, you cut that down to seven matches and just stack that card with just amazing talent, you'll have a great WrestleMania. Because overall, you know, the first half of this WrestleMania was great. The second half was a little lackluster. It was still overall a great WrestleMania, just it could have been so much better. That's it for this week, guys, but we want to know what you think. Let us know in the comments section below what you thought about WrestleMania 33. We'll have a little conversation about it. Also, if you enjoy videos about movies, television, anime, comic books, and more, please click subscribe and keep it tuned to GameSpot Universe.